your question is write down the period of each of these functions see that what they have given they have given the period period means when it will complete one complete cycle that is the period so we know first we see this y is equal to cos x degree how we will find out we know the cos cos will complete one complete cycle in 360 degree so that we will write 360 degree next see that what they have given y is equal to sin 2x degree so first we will write that only what sin 2x degree is equal to sin 360 degree the so sin also complete in 360 degree one complete rotation now you can see now compare them what you will get you will get 2x is equal to 360 degree so x is equal to we can say 360 by 2 that is equal to 180 degree so now your answer is 180 degree now check another one here they have given y is equal to 3 tan 1 by 2 x degree so 3 is nothing but what amplification of that need not to see that just we know that tan positive and negative it will complete in 180 degree so now we will write tan 1 by 2 x is equal to tan 180 degree that means x by 2 is equal to 180 degree so that is x is equal to 360 degree this is the easiest way how we can solve this or otherwise you can go for a scale factor or like that next Here they have given y is equal to one plus two sine three x. So need not to see anything. So first we will write this sine three x. Three x that is equal to and its sine will complete in three sixty degree. That only you have to write sine three sixty degree. Now. so here we will get 3x is equal to 360 degree so x is equal to we can say 360 by 3 that is equal to 120 degree how <clears throat> this two is the amplification of that amplification means you have to increase the amplitude of that and this one will be what the shifting of the wave in y axis so need not to see this two only you have to see sin 3x degree now see this next what they have given tan so here they have given many things tan x minus 30 so here minus 30 is the shifting of the wave in in x axis need not to see that you have to see only the tan x so tan x is 180 degree so simply we have to write tan x is equal to tan 180 degree therefore we can say x is 180 degree comes next one so here y is equal to 5 cos 2x plus 45 degree now phi is the amplitude how much we will increase it we know that cos will vary from minus 1 to 1 into 5 so we not need not to see that y means period will be here only now cos 
and here 45 is the shifting in x axis the cos wave need not to see that also so here you have to write cos 2x and cos wave is 360 degree so we can say cos is 360 degree so now 2x is equal to 360 degree x is equal to 360 by 2 that is equal to 180 degree so like this we have to do it it's very easy